<laughs> Save and DM gonna be heading up towards top. Winter Wyvern and Mars. Plus four Wyvern. I'll see what he gets up to. GPK Zeus in mid against the tops and Snapfire. And of course, got that Slark and Phoenix for ILTW and No Tail. While down bottom, to battle. Alias Enchantress. Epi Kid on that PA. <laughs> and a Marana Magnus lane for Saxa and Seb down here. Now Magnus is kind of a kind of a weird hero in the offlane for me in the position three anyway because now, I, I know I've heard you say it several times a lot of the analysts you know he, he doesn't pressure the safe lane he kind of trades farm uh, I, I guess that then puts Mirana in that 1v1 against Enchantress which is pretty good for OG the battle begins Let's go for damage and sustain. <laughs> we'll see if OG go in there and do try and block things up. Now it's bounty runes. Oh. Yeah. And that's why we go split to blast level one. Try and secure that range grip. A DM with God's Rebuke will do just that. And trading back and forth as RTW does push forward a little bit. Moltres, Moltres, yep. <laughs> oh, I remember this, yeah, about two, two years ago, we, yeah, he sure is. Like two years ago, we were saying, why, why don't they have a lightning bird, Dota 2? Where, where is it? The legendary birds are here, except for Zapdos. Zeus, <laughs> yeah, okay, it does begin with a Z as well. Fair enough, you got me there. Dyer's top tower is under attack. A bit scary when that DM Mars is so close, but bottom lane sucks are being chased into the trees. Epi Kid pops the fairy fire and turns with a dagger, and Ilios will secure that first blood. And Seb unable. Does Saxa get there in time? Yeah, they're, they're pinging it out. Epikid knows that yes. some kind of blocking is going to be attempted here, but no. Nice try. Never ask a Why? Oh, yeah. A beautiful brotherhood between these two heroes already beginning. And the tip at the end to top it all off as well. But now the aggression onto Slark forces him to pounce away. And bottom lane, PA and Enchantress keep the game going. We, well, we, you know, we saw that Mirana's arrow, the harpy that Enchantress had already picked up. But now she's got a centaur and arrows on cooldown. And so I'll keep Epi Kid a little safer in this lane, just bodyguarding that creep wave. Where are you going? Dagger forward, slowing down Seb, but he skewers back, and it comes back to that point he made not a minute ago. But where's his mana pool? Doesn't look like he's considering a bottle or anything. Just going to go for that bracer. He will stick up. Try and keep the charges coming. Maybe there. If the arrow had landed, opportunity. That won't come to anything, though. And then the lane we haven't really looked too much at. Mid lane. Zeus is just spamming arc lightning. He is farming creeps. And Topson, he's keeping up with him pretty nicely. In fact, ahead of him by a couple of CS. But the four minute rune. GPK and Top Topson, both with empty bottles. And the arrival of save here, and GPK has just given away this haste rune. 
Oh, Zoo's in trouble. <laughs> Thompson's trying to get this kill, and it looks like he's got it. And he'll survive with the bottle charges and that haste rune. Really well played in a one versus two. Thompson gets it done. Yeah, top lane. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I thought they had a chance to go on him there, but ILTW realizing they couldn't really kill him without chasing him to, you know, basically the tier one. Just lets him survive while they focus on creeps and Ilias getting sniped out. That skewer shockwave, the arrow. You mentioned it, that magic damage. A real big whack in the back of the head for the Enchantress. Ah, the arrow to kill the creep as well. So Winterwild, I'm going to be stacking up a couple of camps here around the bounty runes. <laughs> no tail. Cheeky. Nice attempt there on the bounty steal. Bounty. Dyer are scanning. Radiant are scanning. Gets the spear on him. Up against those trees and no tail. And he's being burst down. Oh, the double kill. He got Saxa as well. Can they go for more? Splinter Blast is ready, but there's no creeps to bounce it off of. Save won't be able to dive for RTW, but this is a Slark now with no regen left. Where was where was Saxa? He was by his tier one trying to regen up when that Thunder God's Wrath hit him. No such thing as too much damage. Oh. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Yeah, they need this tops and snapfire who is lurking around in the Radiant Triangle to try and make that move. But bottom lane, Centaur stomp into a bit of damage from Epic Kid. Star Storm and Sax are ready here. We'll force them away. Denied. And Phantom Assassin having a, a decent game. TP from the Wyvern. Are Not really going to accomplish anything and maybe actually will die to this. <laughs> Mortimer's Kisses gets cancelled out straight away by Zeus though. GPK on the money with it, and Thompson, he wants to cookie forward. He's aggressively that diving. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. An easy shot. Where are you going? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah. Well, having a, a TP cancel as well feels pretty good as a Zeus, right? Yeah. Well, Sax's arrow going to miss down in the bottom lane. And again, we see No Tail Radiant's and Save tower. wandering <laughs> around. Phoenix and Wyman flapping their wings. And no tail wants to secure this stack. A little bit of bonus gold there for the, uh, the old snap fire. Enchantress. Oh, uh, Ilias. Fairy fire. Bit of heals coming. Nature's attendance doesn't survive. Uh, Phantom assassin doesn't have enough damage to take down Seb either. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. A wyvern's breath. Oh, yeah. Very true. Oh, they know everything. The power of crowds. Zeus. 
They're trying to dive him. GPK backs up just in time. And they're going to force double leap from Saxa. Yeah, holds on to the final one. Dyer are scanning. <laughs> well, try to guess what happened five minutes ago. What? Ha! Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, yeah. Radiant structures are fortified. You need a huge crit there. Snapfire also coming down to play. 4-4-0 build, so ready to burst into people. Even launches the Mormon's kisses. Epileptic Kid has TP'd out. Very well played. Did have the Observer Ward that saw the TP in. Knew exactly what was coming. And also, you know, TP's top. Doesn't go back to Fountain. Makes the play up north instead. And No Tail does have the dive. Yeah, he's a smart man. Oh, he... Tried it though, didn't he? And then they do get the combination of the gods. Colosseum into the big clap of Zeus. Bottom tower is under attack. Victory for prize. Out of my way! Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Regional. Quite often we can see the Boots of Travel or the Blink Dagger, stuff like that, right? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under Radiant attack. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's top tower. Zeus. Radiant's bottom tower. GPK thought he was toying with them, but OG. Oh Turns out that the game was all set up by them. So they moved in, they were under you know, Radiant Observer, Radiant Sentry, GPK threw a lightning bolt down to be like, I can see you guys, don't come chasing me, and then the wrap around. OG with five heroes mid, spring into action. And also a good deep dar observer ward there, spots out save. As Marana leaping for down. leaping for it's couriers. Not gonna find either of them. Is under attack. Radiant's courier has been killed. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, loses Arcane Boots on the Courier as well. And Saxa, that's the final leap. So, with the Winter's Curse and a Central Stomp, take down Saxa's Marana. Now, nah, it's a good game now, is it? Oh. He is rewarded. Rewarded for that kill. Yeah, would have been a nice little play. Refill that bottle. Into that dire jungle they go, Ilias and DM. Spotting out the Seb Magnus, who is rushing Blink Dagger at this point. So trying to hit a timing here, it looks like, along with a Slark. Try and get the Blink along with this Echo Saber, which RTW is not too far off of, just 100 gold shy. And then, you know, in about... Really? Cool. <laughs> Twelve <laughs> minutes. Helps out taking down his ancients, which he can then regen up with his shadow dance. And it feels like both teams are going to be itching for a fight in the next, you know, even 30 seconds to a minute or so. And it? yeah, it looks like Reverse Pro have smoked up from their side of the map. They'll have this big old Mars ulti ready and raring to go, trying to get towards any heroes that are farming this this one camp down here or up into the triangle. Dyer are scanning. 
Oh, they saw ILTW. They caught a glimpse of him for a second. Chasing towards the slug. He's already used dog packs. So he's going to have no way out of this. Winter's Curse straight on top of him. Arena with Spear, and he is caught up. He's reasonably tanky, though, with 13 one charges, but he's not getting through the amount of disable they've got. But at the same time, Blacost, what, what happened top? PA's dead. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh, Ilias. The Mortimus kisses are burning him alive. Marana gets the secure on it. E-Blade follows through onto the PA, and the Supernova's there. Nice cookie from Thompson, and they've killed him off. Zeus is trying to run away, but he's going to get stunned by the Supernova. Barely on the edge of the spear back, and the call embrace. Trying to keep GPK alive, but he's been burnt to a crisp. Thawed and melted. No tail, and Thompson. Great execution over in this Radiant Triangle as they find the two big core kills they needed. The next label play. The next label play. Bounty. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's got to get tested at least 48 hours before he comes into my apartment, I'll tell you that. Yep. He is a time traveler though, so Radiant's it's definitely possible. Is under attack. Do, you, uh, do you have any other traditions of leaving stuff for Santa or Rudolph? Dyer's no? middle tower we used to leave um, we used to leave Santa a nice little glass of brandy and it wasn't until I was it wasn't yeah it, it wasn't until I was older that I realized it was my dad that was sipping on the brandy <laughs> <laughs> enjoy a nice yeah well it was his suggestion because we were like should we leave you know a, a glass of milk or something with a mince pie or a cookie or oh, the catch on Saxa that's an easy kill see yeah poor oh, Marana yeah, we'd leave a carrot for Rudolph. Nice glass of milk. And my dad was like, carrots? Milk? No, brandy. That's what we need. Winner's Curse on the Topson. Where's the follow through? Cookie back. Doesn't catch DM, so the spear is there. And they've got some chain stuns to flow in onto the grandma. And DM actually out of that. that I guess a double was kill. That's not wise. That's right. Also cancelling the blink on Seb. So with the Nimbus there and the Impetus hits from Ilias, GPK secures another and Sucks has TP'd in here. There are a lot of VP heroes all surrounding, but okay, leaps into the tree line. Scary stuff. But you're right, this Magnus who has blink, we've not really seen a blink RP. And that Zeus ulti just cancelling any chances he had of your Sucks Sucks nearly gets annihilated by GPK. Oh. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Don't send it back. <laughs> Look at it, Enchantress. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, yeah. True, true. Dyer are scanning. Take it back, yeah. I was just saying, look at Enchantress, because as soon as GPK picked that up, Ilias was like following, following GPK. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme the filly. Not happening. Now, OG, it feels like it's been smoke time for a while, and they will group up together, try and get some utilization Radiant out of this blink RP of Magnus. Sucks up with yours and Urn trying to front line in the mid lane. And RTW has a couple of observers and sentries for himself, but he's been yulesed up, speared back to the tree. 
and DM has split this fight wide open. E-Blade Cookie blasting forward, tops and kills off Ilias, and a supernova on the high ground will zone the rest of them out as the kisses land on the DM, and Seb gets the two-man RP. He's waiting for it, but he's landed a gorgeous one. GPK with the save of the winner's goal is not going to be enough. Down they all come, tumbling down, and save. And ILTW is going to munch him up for dinner. Slark is... <laughs> Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And now they're finding a catch top. The PA has been used into Arrow. You're talking about big plays from Marana, and Saxa has got tons of them. Yules into Arrow was the undoing of the GPK Radiant's storm in game two, and attack. now it's ruining VP's chances here in game three. Wonderful. Shadows take us. Oh, DM. There is vision. Thunder God's Wrath is there, but the arrow after Yule's E-Blade in with the combos they've got. The magic damage is uh, not, it's not enough. He's got the arena and that cold embrace finally dies as a skewer into the side of the Coliseum. Pushes Seb back into GPK's Thunderbolt. Kiss is coming. Smooches from Grandma. These don't taste so good. GPK. Oh, uh, Thompson's jumped in aggressively. He wants to kill. That's a tanky Snapfire. Oh, Snapfire's going to 1v4. Give me more. E-Blade Cookie. You're right, Lacoste. TP out. Come on, Thompson. Go for more. You have learned Nothing. You have learned nothing. <laughs> Sure is. PA, PA, PA. BKB, not too far away, but it hasn't felt like the epileptic kid PA we saw in game one by any means. It's been a, an uphill struggle. Do you feel like this this first Roshan of the game is going to be a defining moment here for VP? Because in, in my head, they are struggling, and if they don't get it, it might just be OG's game to lose. straight over the top of it. Nimbus won't connect, and now DM's the one being focused down. Mars, Essence, Ring, TP home. Seb's there with the skewer to cancel. So DM forced to spear again. He's a tanky old boy, this Mars, but he's getting chased by OG, and they will never give up until he'll fall. I also find Epileptic Kid elsewhere on the map, the Snapfire and the Slark pairing up to allow Thompson to kill off the PA. Thompson, Thompson. Oh, he's hungry, but is he bit off more than he can chew? Because GPK turns and blows him up, and that's the streak gone now. The sun ray burning, but GPK surviving. Oh, fiery spirits, the heal from Enchantress. Those sprites come through, and he lives. <laughs> he wanted to feed GPK, and that's exactly what he accomplished. Definitely a statement of intent, though. And Topson's shifting into this this kind of more physical damage build next. Like e, e blade blink Daedalus. Dyer's middle it tower is under attack. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, Seb stuck around to deny the tower. RP's onto the PA under tier two now, but she's popped her BKB, feeling reasonably safe as the rest of the team's there to back her up. Slark wants to fight though. Onto the Mars, throws his arena down, and RTW up against the side. And the kiss is coming. Means DM, gonna self yours, but that's the end of his life. Skewered across and finished off. As OG, they're doing very well there to deny the mid tier one and keep things going onto the Enchantress as they blow her up with Roshan available. They could find themselves an easy objective in that pit. GPK found by Slark. Nice save. Does come in with a Winter's Curse. Holding that Slark back as GPK considers the turn. Essence Ring and ready with the BKB. Looks like the back end is the PA nearly solo died to Thompson. But the BKB and the jump back in. RTW now in trouble but turns again with the Shadow Dance. All sorts of swings and roundabouts in this fight. As Marana the only hero to die just yet. Now DM. They find him. And they should be able to finish him. Gem now on the floor but VP haven't noticed. Hotel's pinging it. Couriers are coming. The couriers are coming. Radiance top tower is under attack. Takes that courier and the gem straight back. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking again about this Topson Snapfire build, because we've seen a lot of mid-Snapfire over the past, what, three, four months or so, maybe a bit longer, yeah, and scanning. pretty much every mid-Snapfire player has kind of indicated that Aghanims is that first item you go for. And Topson's just come out here in this series and said, you know what, forget Aghanim Scepter, I don't need it. It's nice, but if I go for this build, I can get all of this damage, all of this save and potential, you know, team fight winning ability so much faster. Die. Team could buy their own bloody blink daggers. Double GPK. <laughs> oh, nice yours. They do catch out the Saxa Marana in the Nimbus and the Colosseum. So, Marana falling, the Yule Scepter, and maybe a leap, but the final zap will take him down. <laughs> Radiant are scanning. Oh, did the kisses nearly get him? No, the sh... Dyer's bottom tower is under on the, attack. Yeah. Should have just come out on the courier, I think. Well, a 9k lead for OG. But yet to take a serious objective. Tier 2 is still standing. Were you part of the uh, of the panel with the, the pickle play? The cucumber strategy? Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. No? You were? You're not, you're not, you're not a fan? He didn't want to be. <laughs> well, Allies. oh, does get out of the grasp of Ilias. Sentry ward. Give me that magic damage. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Silver Edge on Slark. Oh. 
Winter's Curse does clip Slark. Mars, though, hit by that arrow. The Nimbus coming out, and they do blow up DM. OG yet again swooping in to find that immediate dispatching of a core hero. And Virtus Pro feeling like a limp animal. Shuffling back towards their Radiant Jungle and leaving that top tier two, leaving the Roshan pit all available to OG. Radiant's top tower is under attack. An easy shot. Well, 15 seconds for Master Respawn means that VP are just gonna have to hand OG to that Aegis he is. I have hit Roshan with my eyes closed. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Roshan has fallen to the dark. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer are scanning. Mm, she can do that physical burst. Shadows take us. And Slark TP'd to his bot tier 2. Oh, Elias has TP'd home. Epikid save still down here. OG don't find their moment. So they'll go back to pushing out the waves. Yeah, PA going all the way back up to top now. It feels like DM and his BKB are going to be a important Stop turning point here for VP to get these fights going. He's not he's not gonna have it. And they're smoking up without having it. <laughs> Trying to make the move forward into their own hall. Oh, they got spotted though. Topson was there, just lurking on the very edge, waiting on top of the ramp. And a attempted smoke pop from No Tail as well. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And smoke expiring. Yeah, DM just got the yules on the arena. Trying to focus Phoenix, but that's the supernova from No Tail. And Ilias needs the help of save with that Winter's Curse to buy him time to run away from Slark. DM on the retreat. Uh, Mars might still be in a bit of danger Radiant's though, going for the TP. Ah, no Yules, no arrow. <laughs> so what's that? Supernova down, but they've still got RP on OG. No kisses Radiant's for about a minute and a half. Is under attack. And VP going to be ready with Arena in another 30 seconds. Probably with BKB in the next fight as well. So all in all, that little engagement, a pretty good little, like not a victory, but you know, it went okay for VP. They also scan, knowing that OG is coming around the corner. Hiding. Radiant's middle tower. Slark. Well, he's got Aegis and BKB. He forced the Shatter Downs early on in the fight. The Blink Bang, trying to get GPK away from danger, but Epikid has BKB'd himself, while RTW, still in deep, impetus hit. Well, it doesn't finish him off. <laughs> Slark is still fine, healing back up to full, and he's got the Aegis and the BKB still to play with, while they know that Epikid... Arrow's good. Catching Enchantress. Down goes Ilias and Thompson. What's the next play? There's an arena of blood, but dear lord, the damage from Thompson. And in comes RTW with an RP catching on to the Winter Wyvern. And Seb wants to try and make a move there, but a curse will force the Slug to attack him and maybe just finish him off. A two for one so far, but Thompson's there with a double kill. Going in again and save pays the ultimate price while the Aegis is reclaimed. All thanks to Zeus and his magic burst. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. What did yeah, you I was just about to what say, it's been a while.
Dyer are scanning. Can you? Huh. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And in this series in general, having that immediate catch on someone seems to be the you know, the real tipping point in a lot of these fights. Whoever gets that first jump on a key target is going to be winning these battles. As the smoke here from VP, and they see Topson, they see Saxa, they're moving forward with the Winter's Curse. Slark bounces though onto the Winter Blyvin of the Mars Arena, does catch Duck or in the mix. And the PA finds the blow up on Topson. The immediate buyback though, save annihilated. Saxa traded the GPK. Does launch the Thunder his way. But RTW should be able to take down Ilias without too many problems now in a two for two trade while Seb was looking for an RP. But PA and Zeus have both retreated back to their base. OG still going to be knocking on the door of your tier twos now though. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant are Oh, DM. Oh my god. DM. There's no way. Can you get out of this one? He's been surrounded. There's too many here. And that slog pounce, it doesn't quite connect, but it puts RTW within range to get some hits in. The Jukes. The Jukes from DM. He doesn't have Blink. He doesn't have TP. He's just got phase boots and a BKB. He'll try and rebuke and spear and essence ring all he can. But OG this time, shut the door on Mars. The prize is mine. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Shadows take us. Well, RTW. He's cursed up, and the kisses are just zoning back VP, and in comes Seb. A BKB force from Epikid. We've got an RP, though. Landing. Seb's being blown up, though. The Arctic burn and the lightning damage is enough. And PA blinks up to high ground as the Slark dives in. They've killed her off through the Cold Embrace, thanks to this E-Blade of Topson. RTW's going wild. He's bouncing into trees. He's trying to break apart VP. And Ayul's into Arrow will secure themselves. A kill onto Ilias. Oh, maybe not. Because GBK is there with a lot of damage. But so's bloody Thompson. A triple kill for Grandma. We have learned nothing. We have learned nothing. It's impossible. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And it's been a struggle for VP to get their combos going, and it's going to be even worse with these items you're mentioning. And the fact that Slark got this BKB is under attack. reasonably early. You know, Silver Edge into BKB, still sitting on eight seconds duration. Hasn't been forced to use it too often. Radiance top tower. And a nice little pickup from Seb as well. Ether Lens and a Solar Crest, so he can sit very far away. And keep spamming that on his little Slark buddy.
Is it? Yeah, around the Abyssal Blade timing. VP know that they've got limited options. Slark also getting his own Abyssal Blade and ILTW. He's invis. He might pop this smoke in a second. Saxa shows in the mid lane. So does No Tail. Scan from the Radiant Radiant's top is near the triangle. And the long line of Dire Vision doesn't see anybody here. And then they jump onto tops and they go. They find the pick off on the Snapfire. Great initiation from VP and she's dead for two minutes. You are bloody right. They're going to go in for more. Roshan is alive. This fight is huge for VP if they can get it done. They try to get no tell. He dies with the Eon Disc. The Winter's Curse is there on Slark. They do have the Supernova coming soon, but he's battling into his own Slark. And the Impetus hits the damage. The RP, yes, from Seb. It catches on the two, but down goes Slark. RTW's gone. No tell Supernova lands now on the arrow, connecting with some pretty good control, but Epileptic Kid is able to make the jump once more, and Saxa lowers orbiting the dagger back, will only do so much, leaping forward, but blown up, as the Abyssal Blade drags the Marana into a double kill of PA. A Seb? <laughs> the triple! Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. What a bounty! What a bounty! Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And save, finally. Popping into the Roche pit. Was that how much of a swing it was? From 20k? Oh, yeah, you're right. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Jeez. Aegis and Cheese now here. Phantom Assassin holding on to Paladin Sword. That cheese is going to give so much healing. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Holy crap. That Slark is just going to get annihilated if he doesn't get the immediate jump on the PA with the rest of his team. And that, that's the thing, like, I really feel like this whole series has been about, yeah, okay, game one we can maybe ignore a little bit because it was a bit of a stomp, but games two and three is who gets that jump onto a core hero first? Who forces these buybacks? What's happened? What, what is it? I... <laughs> They find DM Supernova straight on his head. There's the Winter's Curse, though, catching out Slark. And the Multipus Kiss is not doing too much. Yours into Arrow and now an RP. Landing onto the two with a snap for and the multi shot comes in. They are killing off Save. He buys back straight away. The Aegis has also popped on that PDA. DM is still inside the Arena of Blood. Seb is falling low up against the shield. He'll crash. But RPW has found the target with an arrow connecting. They take down the PA. A triple for Thompson and Rapier. It is no longer available for the Phantom Assassin. This will be just my All my Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's middle yeah. barracks are under attack. Radiant's middle barracks Same. has fallen. I clicked on Thompson. Like, Thompson did make a slot. Oh, yeah. They're gonna keep going for this. Nimbus will only buy so much time. RTW just clears it through. And OG looking for the game three victory here. The glyph. And run away. OG don't have a lot of sustain. They've got the Shadow Dance, they've got Urn Charges, only one remaining on Saxa. And then that Sunray. The jump in. The arrows, the multi arrows, GPK and DM trying to make the play onto RTW, but he turns to the Shadow Dance and the Abyssal Blade there and they kill off GPK. Oh, he's nearly surviving, but that E Blade will secure the kill and they skewer Mars back. DM now trapped and GG called. It's a 2 1 victory for OG. Radiant's Ancient is under attack. OG, victory.